Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example on mensuration. The circle above has center at point O. The length of the arc ABC is given as 5 pi and X is given as 100 degrees. What is the length of the arc ADC? Now here in this question the length of the arc ABC is 5 pi. And the central angle that is angle X is given as 100 degrees. We have to find out what is the length of the arc ADC. Now to solve this example let us first understand what is the relationship between the central angle and the arc length. Now you can see here that I have already drawn a circle with center O and the lines PO and RO divides the circle into two sectors. That is one is this small sector POR and there is a larger sector which is PSR. Now the arc PQR acts as a minor arc because it is a very small part of the circle and the arc PSR acts as a major arc because it covers a larger part of the circle. Now let me take the central angle of this minor arc as theta 1 and the length of this PQR arc as L1. Now since theta1 is at the center of the circle at point O, the remaining part of the angle is going to be 360 degrees minus theta1. Let me call it as theta2 that is the central angle of the major arc. Now let me consider the length of this major arc as L2. Now the relationship between the central angle and the arc length is given as arc length being proportional to the central angle. So we can write it as an equation that the arc length L is proportional to the central angle theta. Now in our case we have two central angles and two arc lengths. So taking this relationship into consideration we can make a ratio between the arc lengths and the central angles and write them as L1 that is the first arc length that is the minor arc length over the larger arc length L2 is equal to or proportional to the central angles. So in this case theta1 over theta2. So we have established a relationship between the arc lengths and the central angle. Now let us make use of this relationship to solve the example above. Now in this case let us consider 100 as theta1. This is the central angle for the minor arc ABC and the length of ABC let us take it as L1 and it is given as 5 pi. And the remaining angle which is the central angle on this side becomes theta2 and it is going to be 360 degrees minus 100. So that is going to give us a value of 260 degrees. So we got our central angle for this side and we need to find out the length of this major arc and let us take it as L2. So using the same relationship which is L1 over L2 is equal to theta1 over theta2. Let us substitute the values here. We have L1 as 5 pi over L2 which we have to find is equal to theta1 is 100 and we got theta2 as 260 degrees. So let us cross multiply the values now. So L2 multiplies with 100 and 260 with 5 pi. So rearranging it we get L2 is equal to 5 pi times 260 divided by 100. Here we get a value of 13 pi as our answer. So you can keep it as 13 pi or you can change it to decimal to 40.84. So I am going to keep the answer in pi and write it as 13 pi. Since another arc length they have given it in pi, I will keep the answer in pi. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video and if you know any other way of solving this example do comment below and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.